Hey guys, Jarek here and welcome to Emberscape. And today I obtained a very interesting device. It's called ultrasound cleaning device. Here it is. And I will be trying to clean some fossils with it. So let's not waste any time and go pick some fossils. Yeah, so we have a variety of corals. We have Sartinula here, aka the sun coral. It's simply dirty, so let's see if we'll just clean up the sediment out of it. We have Seringopora with uh, some sort of matrix that looks quite promising that it might clean it. So also we have other kind of Seringopora. This matrix, <laughs> I don't think it will clean, but you know, it's a tasting phase, so we will see what works and what not. And these four are chain corals and all of them are in different matrix. Uh, I think this one might clean. This one I have no idea, they look very worn down by the sea. So yeah, let's put these corals in and let's check how the device is working. So this thing here, it requires water, so I have some water prepared. And let's fill it out and start cleaning. Also, let's put some dishwashing stuff, so it will clean all the dirt from the corals. Let's see how it's working. Let's turn it on. Yep, and pull the sonic. Because it might be a little bit deceiving how it's working for reals. We remove this thingy and now let's turn it again. Now ultrasound effects are a lot better visible. Looks quite powerful. Quite not enough space for all of them, but we will manage. Okay. And I can already say a big negative of this specific device, this specific model. It has timer maximum on 8 minutes. And I will be needing to keep it running for probably days. <laughs> running for days, one 8 minutes at a time. Sounds quite challenging. We'll manage though. Okay, <laughs> that looks really greasy now. Let's take a look what's inside. Yeah, not really the cleanest water, right? So there was a few things that happened off camera. First of all, I did remove this piece of sun coral because it started eating the brown matrix from it. And I kind of like this brown matrix, so I did remove it as I noticed that it started disappearing. Uh, yeah, let's check what was the effect on the rest of the corals. There is one more thing here that happened. When I did remove the sun coral, I did put this coral back in because I did start testing this one before. If it will be start cleaning off and it does clean off. So let's see at the stages when I did put it and let's see if there is any difference on it. So personally, I think these holes are a lot more pronounced and from this side, it started eating the matrix as well. So we will keep at it and before that, let's check the other ones. So I guess, yeah, the Singapore one definitely, definitely started eating all the matrix uh, from this piece, from this side. Depending on the matrix and density of the fossil in the matrix itself, we are seeing very different effects on different pieces. Some have good progress, others close to zero progress. But it's been only few days in the cleaner. And by few days, I mean it was so inconsistent. I'm turning the machine when I have time. Oh, this one took a hit. Uh, let's make it wet a little bit more. 
If there is cracks in fossil, ultrasound will make it crack more in instead of blasting off just the matrix from the fossils. So by using this method, be careful not to destroy your fossils that have cracks in them. Uh, this one a lot cleaner than before. Uh, no point keeping it in here. We'll just remove the ones I don't want to be in here and we'll put the other ones. Yeah, the water is removed and I see a layer of dirt, quite a thick layer. So it for sure is working on some of the matrix, maybe not all of it. Yeah, so let's remove <laughs> this dirt and pour uh, clean water in it. There we go, it's clean and we are ready for the round two. I'm not sure if there's any difference if the water is clean or not, but at least I will see some sort of difference if it's getting, you know, uh, dirty and that means it does remove the matrix from the specimens. So yeah, uh, and let's put everything back. And there's three more fresh pieces that I wanted to put in there. Some sort of corals here, not sure of the species. The, this nice Syringopora and this chain coral, but this one is very not defined and I'm not sure if this uh, clean, cleaning will do any favor for it, but we might as well try because <laughs> we are trying the new things to see what works in cleaning corals. And you, as you noticed, I didn't put this two. That's because I tried removing some matrix manually with a knife to speed up the cleaning process. So yeah, we did remove what we could, not very successfully, but it's time to keep it running. Let's put them back and fire the machine. Yeah, so quite a, a while have passed. Let's take it out and take a look. But before that, let's wash it because Wow, it's really dirty once again. It's clean now from all the goo and let's check the progress out. I have no idea how long they were in there. It was at least a month before the last update. That's how long it took. So let's see if there's any progress. Yeah, it, it, it is a lot deeper than before but not much significant progress. I mean, there is a lot of progress, but not for this amount of time. Still, it is working, even though it's very inconvenient. And the pieces of matrix are falling apart from it. I bet I can clean it manually a bit better after it's not so sticky. So yeah, also I did notice that the pieces that were in the center were cleaning a lot faster. Like this one was laying from the edge, uh, on this side there's almost no changes, a little bit maybe, but this side, yeah, some significant erosion from the matrix. It has possibility to be a lot interesting, like we can check from this side. But I won't be showing you half of the progress for so long, I just want to see if it's working or not. And yeah, I will put it back as fast as possible, so we can see the final result. And this ridge is a lot deeper as well. I'm liking this piece a lot. It will be very nice when it's all clean. Oh, very nice, very nice updates. And this one, I mean the progress from the center, not from the sides. And this was laying in the center for the last week. So that's why there is a lot more progress in this one. Let's check this one. Same, same, same story. Yeah, so it, it is a, a lot deeper now, but it takes so long. I'm not even sure if it's worth it. And not everything is working. Oh, this one as well, a little bit rolls appeared, but it was from the side all the time. So yeah, and this one, this one is getting wrecked. But I'm not sure if only the matrix or the coral as well. I think it's getting destroyed. Maybe the part of the coral were damaged where it's cracking because the ultrasound works in this way that if something is cracked, it will be get, it will get destroyed. If some of you will want a ultrasound cleaner device. 
for the love of God, get model that either doesn't have a timer or at least it's more than 8 minutes. If not the timer, I would be over with this prep months ago. I lost count at this point, it's either 2 or 3 more months that have passed. And that should be enough testing time for the video, because there's some good results already. There are some failures. The colony of solitary corals didn't clean nicely. Last chance will be putting them into acid. Then the Seringoporas, any of those didn't clean at all. The bigger piece of chain coral did got destroyed. I'm not sure what was the issue with the one. Probably fossil itself wasn't stable. And the smallest chain corals still need some more time in the cleaner. But on the bright side, the nice chain corals did clean up wonderfully. A lot better results than with the vinegar, because chains are healthy and not melted from the acid. For preservation sake, I did put Paraloid B72 as a bonus. And there we go, my favorite corals, the chain corals, which are extinct for over 400 million years old, are finally freed from the matrix. All of these look amazing in my opinion, and will go into my display shelf with other chain corals and other fossils. I have few observations regarding the ultrasound cleaner. First, as I mentioned, if you plan try to try it out, make sure to get a bigger model that can fit more water inside for bigger specimens. Also, get the one either without a timer or with a timer that's at least half an hour long or an hour. Next, I removed the plastic net like the thingy, ultrasound was getting absorbed in the plastic. Then of course, don't put their fossils that are damaged or cracked. And one more advice, don't use benzene in instead of water, even though for whatever reason it has better effect but your fossils will smell terribly and you won't be able to keep them at home. The only way to neutralize smell is vinegar, which melts calcified fossils. To speed up the process, I was using Dremel engraver. Did poke some holes in the matrix so the ultrasound would clean it up faster. Lastly, cleaner is awesome to clean the regular sand that's stuck in the fossils. For example, I did put my Favocites honeycomb coral and all these corallites were full of sand. Some corallites were damaged, and after an ultrasound cleaner, they clean up. The places where corallites were tumbled up, they reappeared. So yeah, I do recommend this type of devices for fossil cleaning, just not this specific model. It's too small and timer was killing me. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.